All right. Gravitational field. So this refers to the acceleration due to gravity when you are in a certain planet. So again, another term for gravitational field is acceleration due to gravity. Now, if we are talking about Earth, so this acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth, which is equal to G, that is equal to 9.8 meter per second square but if you move at a distance away from the surface of the earth this g actually changes or if we also change the planet like for example the acceleration due to gravity on jupiter is different from that of the earth or even the acceleration due to gravity when you're in the moon is also different so we could solve for the formula for acceleration due to gravity or gravitational field by the formula g is equal to g um, gravitational constant uh, multiplied by the mass of the planet divided by r squared where r is the distance from the center of the planet take note this is from the center of the planet and not from the surface so this is a very important information and also acceleration due to gravity has a symbol um, small g the capital g is gravitational constant while the small g is the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational field now we move on to question number three an object is dropped from a height h above the surface of the earth such that it experiences an initial acceleration of 0 0.76 g. Find the height above the surface of the earth. So, if we are going to draw this, we have the surface of the earth, we have the earth here. And from the center of the earth, this is going to be equal to the radius of the earth. Right there. So from the center of the earth towards its surface, that's going to be one radius. Now there is an object drop at a height h. So this height right here is h above the surface of the earth. So from the surface of the earth to where the object is, that is equal to h. Now also at this point here, the g or the acceleration the acceleration due to gravity at this point, let me just put this as g here, g at point h is equal to 0 0.76 g. Remember that our g here is equal to 9.8. Again, the acceleration due to gravity at this height, or I call that gh, is 0 0.76 g. Now we need to solve for the height above the surface of the earth. So we use the equation acceleration due to gravity is equal to gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the planet and in this case we're talking about the earth so that's going to be the radius of the earth divided by the square of r where in, where in r once again is the distance from the center of the earth to um, or the distance from the center of the earth. So if I would substitute now this value, my g of h becomes 0 0.76 g, that's my g right there, or g of h is equal to gravitational constant, the mass of the earth is me over, what should our r be? What should our r be in this case? What's our r? Anybody? What's our R? If we, if we have mentioned earlier that R is the distance from the center of the planet, so if we're going to look at this illustration, this diagram, what is our R equal to? Anybody? Who would like to give uh, it a Mr. try? Isaac, yes? 6.38. Where did you get 6.38? From uh, the... But Mr. R, can you say 1 plus H? R is only the R six point three eight is only the times ten to the power of six is only the radius of the Earth. But then the R in this equation once again, this R right here, 
is the distance from the center of the earth to the point that we are interested in. So, going back to this question, what should our small r be? This r. Yes, anybody? What should that be? Sir, is it uh, 1 plus h? What, why 1? What's because 1? Because from the center of the planet to the sur surface, it's 1. Is it 1? We actually are given r e right there. So, from the center of the planet to where the height is, that's going to be our r. So, as a matter of fact, we will have r e, that's this, uh, the radius of the earth, plus the height, put it in a bracket, then square. So, let me just write this in red. I will have the radius of the earth plus the height, and then I'm going to square it. This one right here is my R. That's my R right there. Any questions? Any questions, gentlemen? All right, and now we substitute the values. So we will have, um, let me write it here, 0 0.76. My G is 9.8 is equal to the gravitational constant which is given to be 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. The mass of the earth is also given to be 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24 divided by the radius of the earth which is also given Re. That's going to be 638 times 10 to the power of 6 plus the height which is what we need to solve for in this problem. Now, this is where the physics ends. We have our formula, substitution. Now, in order for you to solve for this, I need you to utilize your calculator, the shift solve function of your calculator, so you do not get a mistake on the math part of this problem. So use the shift solve um, function of your calculator. Any questions? All right, this brings us to uh, problem number two. The first problem on slide 46. So if it says there that there is a meteor or a meteoroid at the distance above the Earth's surface three times the Earth's radius. So if we're going to draw that, we have our Earth right here. This is the center of the Earth and that is equal to our E from, from the center towards the surface. And we have a meteor that is located at a distance of three Earth's radius from the surface. You see it says here, meteoroid at the distance above the Earth's surface of three times the Earth's radius. So this is our meteoroid. So in this case, what is our R in the formula G is equal to G M E R squared? What's our R in this case? Anybody? Uh, Mr. Rats, uh, four. Very, four, four, for what? Just 4? R-E. Alright, that's going to be 4-R-E. Four, 4 squared. Not 4 squared, but 4-R-E. So you substitute this there. Okay, so remember, gentlemen, that R is the distance from the center of the earth towards the height or a point. All right, you have 8 minutes to give a submission to slide 48. Uh, yes. Is it four uh, or four or uh, uh, because uh, three and plus one? That's right. That's uh, that's correct because this is three R E plus R E. That's gonna be four R E because as we this as we measure the R or the small R, I'm talking about this R right here. It should be measured from the center of the planet. So this is the center of the planet. That's the center of the planet. This is where the meteoroid is. So the total distance is going to be 4 RE. All right. Any other questions? Okay. So that's it. Give me the answer to these problems, including the last problem, which is similar to how we have solved problem 46, uh, a problem 46 on slide Rather, problem 2 on slide 46.